welcome guys. So in the previous lecture, we have already developed the property of the Hermitian polynomial. Let's say we have this kind of polynomial, right? So in this video, we just quickly uh, connected these results to the uh, uh, quantum mechanics, how simple our oscillator, and uh, we can solve it. Okay, so let's establish that, uh, uh, recall that in the previous, we, pr we give the property of this kind of uh, Hermine polynomial, and we also uh, give the give the also gonality conditions. Uh, hopefully, I'm correct. Okay, so now uh, we can go to uh, make a strange uh, change. Suppose we let phi n equals to exponential x squared divided by two h n, and we put into here. And we get phi n prime is basically this one uh, exponential minus x squared divided by 2 and then minus x h n. And we do the second again. Then finally, we will get the following differential equation. Okay, so just remember this differential equation. We will use this uh, very soon. Okay, so next uh, we can start to solve the harmonic oscillator, right? So in the one dimension, the harmonic oscillator uh, Hamiltonian looks like minus h bar square divided by two m, right? Partial partial x square, psi uh, equals to half, right? So this is your uh, our potential. Let's say uh, let's we use x square psi and uh, e psi, right? So if you see carefully, then this looks like this, right? Exactly. Okay, so. Then we can do a very quick change. As we maybe we that x equals to alpha z. Uh, sorry, maybe we we change another way. Uh, let me see. We change another way. Like uh, maybe I can just let uh, y equals to alpha x. Right. So and uh, and we let alpha square up to a four equals to. Let's say m square omega h square h bar square. Okay, and lambda just equals to two e divided by h bar omega. Okay, and a very easy uh, computation can shows that, uh, or maybe let's do it. So the partial partial x square is basically so uh, y is this one, right? So uh, it seems like this is this. Uh, hopefully I'm correct, right? So let's say uh, y is alpha x, yeah. So okay. So the first one becomes this, right? And the second one is basically this one, right? But uh, x x square need to divide change is alpha, right? Psi, e psi. Okay, and alpha square defined to be uh dot over four defined to be this, right? So let's check that whether uh we can just change this into the form of what we want. So the two two canceled. Uh let's say minus m square omega square h bar square y square alpha to the fourth y psi equals to right so minus e psi h bar alpha uh, alpha square. Okay so at uh, least one right I define alpha to the fourth to be this right so then this then this, then this one will will be zero. That uh, will be one. Okay. So this is y square psi. Okay. And for this one, now I I define this right. So uh, I plug alpha square right. So alpha square is or m omega h bar right. So put in all of this, then this give us that. Uh, this give us that uh, lambda. Right, on that side, minus on that side. Hmm, <laughs> is it correct? Uh, yeah, I think this is correct. Uh, yes, it's correct. Okay. So combine all of these, then we have that phi n y square. Uh, the differentiation psi with dif respect to y plus lambda minus y square plus size zero. Okay. So combine to combine with these two, 
right? Since we have all the tools, so this proves. So we then we we know why is side of y, right? Side of y is basically the Ermi polynomial, right? And then we also prove that lambda is two n plus one. So this is the final result. If you plug lambda is two n plus one, right? Lambda is two e divided by h bar omega. So this show that the e is just half h bar omega. Uh, to n uh, plus one, or basically people like n plus one half h bar omega. Right, basically, this is the common quantum mechanics result. You 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 must uh, remember this, right? So the result is h psi n y just h psi y, right? But there is a normalization factor here, so we take a square root of the normalization. Okay, so this is the uh, quantum mechanics simple harmonic oscillator. So that's all the proof. Right, all the proof is just one page. So all the derivation, uh, all the derivation based uh, based on the previous tools we we establish of a uh, my polynomial, and once we have that, everything is just uh, very clear. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.